Well, good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. August 8th. Yep, the 8th. It is, what time is it? 9 a.m. I have already been out for my run. I've already had breakfast. I've already edited yesterday's vlog and got that up. And we are going to Walmart for our weekly Walmart, Wal Walmart grocery haul. And I feel like we need a lot of stuff. So it might be a big one. I might pick up a new tea from David's Tea because I'm into my tea right now. And oh, it's gonna have fun at the play center. So stay tuned. There will be a really cool haul coming up. And just so you know, I bought the Maybelline Fit for Me foundation yesterday, and I'm wearing it right now, and I freaking love it. It is so much better than the bare skin. Uh be nice to Kitty. So we're back. Um, I just want to show you an overview of my meal plan for the week. Um, the days don't mean anything. These are just the recipes I have laid out for the week. Um, when I just plan it out this way, sometimes I realize like I, there's no way I could have made the lentil stew today because it would take like, I have to soak the lentils overnight. So obviously that's not going to happen today. But that is what I'm making. Shep vegan shepherd's pie, falafel burgers, black lentil stew, and vegan pot pie. I am not vegan. I am just kind of cooking vegan this week. So here is an overview of the haul. Um, I'm just gonna show you first the non-grocery items. I picked up a new SD card for this new camera, a new chapstick because I had lost mine. I got four ramekins to put the little pot pies in and a little mini David's Tea Haul, which I'll film separately to show you guys. Um, frozen veg for the pot pies. Oh, sorry, last two non-grocery items. The Zijinga for the wedding and Odin's bubble bath. So oatmeal, cereal, chickpeas, sour cream, falafel balls, Greek yogurt, these little frozen pack dinners, um, two bags of potatoes, broccolini, romaine, um, kale, parsley, celery, garlic, and bananas. And that's everything for groceries that I got at Walmart for the week. So David's Tea had on clearance um, their pitcher packs of the summer flavors. So I got picked them up for only three bucks, strawberry rhubarb parfait and main squeeze. And then I got a big bag of organic cold 911. Seems like a reasonable thing to have on hand now with the holiday, like with the flu season. And it's salty caramel, which I'm gonna try making into a latte um, just to try out for that. So that was my little David's Tea help. Guys, oh, I'm totally getting sick. I can like feel it in my throat. Yeah. And I just feel like hot. I took some Dayquil, so I'm hoping I feel better pretty quick. But I can kind of. Hey guys, oh my gosh, I'm totally getting sick. Like my um, memory card filled up, so I don't know how much of the last clip you saw, but. Yeah, I'm sick. I can't avoid it anymore. Like, I'm trying and trying and trying to be like, I'm not sick, I'm not sick. But I've been trying to, like, drink my cold 911 tea from David's Tea. And I've taken Dayquil twice now. And I'm just like, my throat is, like, feeling gross in here. I have a headache. I'm nauseous. I'm sweating. It just sucks. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm just, like, burnt out or... I don't get sick often, knock on wood, thank you God, but when I do, it's always if the seasons are changing. So I'm like, it's legit that I just could be getting sick right now, that's not super surprising to me. Also, I'm just like really like on the go, stressed out a little and you know. Oh, it's how, how are you doing? You ate your whole dinner and you ate your fruit snack for dessert. Now you're drinking water. You look like you're enjoying that water. <laughs> Did you have fun at the park? We forgot the vlog camera, so I didn't film much at the park. Sorry. But yeah. So this evening, I will be taking it easy. I'm gonna crochet and put on a movie for him, and he seems to be very hyper, so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. Hey, Owens. So I was like falling asleep on the couch and the medicine's like not really doing anything. I'm like sweating so much and then I was like, but I'm hungry, like I'm really hungry. So I was like starting to crave junk food and I'm like, nope, I'm just gonna get up and I'm gonna make one of the things like for the meal that I planned for this week. 
so I decided to make the pot pies. So this recipe is for vegan pot pies, but I unveganed them by using pre-made crust. Like I just went and got some like biscuit crust myth, the like Pillsbury thing, because it was gonna like save me a lot of time to just do that. But I've never made pot pies before and they look really good. I'm just worried like I had a couple extra left over because the pack obviously like these finished in 10 minutes and the recipe for the pot pies says to cook those for 40 minutes at 400 and they look like the biscuits are gonna burn so that might have been a mistake so I just turned the heat like way down I'm like like there's no like nothing in the mixture inside is raw it's just like chickpeas cooked sweet potatoes and like frozen vegetables and then like a gravy mixture and like curry seasoning so like the only thing that really needs to cook is the frozen vegetables so I'm not really too worried about it and I'm just gonna See how it turns out. I don't really feel good, but I do slightly feel hungry, like I need to eat something. So, yeah, there's that little munchkin in the bath. He's been a he's been a handful tonight. <laughs> he like took the jug of water out of the fridge when I was cooking and like threw it on the the water and then ran into the bathroom and tore all the toilet paper off the roll. And I'm like trying to like. Whenever I'm like cooking something that's more involved and has like multiple steps, I'm like, I can't like chase you while I'm cooking right now. Yeah, it's mommy struggles. Um, I'd be saying these look pretty darn good. So I will let you guys know. Hey guys, so those Popeyes were so yummy. Just for us and try to get these still at work. It's like really late tonight, but I had one. I kind of feel better, but I still have a really bad headache. But they were really, really yummy. I'll definitely make them again. So happy about that. Um, if you guys like, I'll put the recipe in the comments below. But I'm gonna call it a night because I feel like crap. My head just is like pounding. And I think I just really need to pass out. And hopefully, I will feel better tomorrow. I'm gonna take Odin to the baby gym, and I'm thinking I'm either gonna do a what I tomorrow or a wedding update video so stay tuned i love you guys so much and i will see you guys tomorrow